All right, guys, so I've had a bunch of questions about IXL and how do you use IXL, the diagnostics, all that. So I thought I would do a little kind of tutorial for you. So when you come into IXL, it's going to look like this. Now, my students already logged in. I think most of you know how to do that at this point. So you're going to come here to the diagnostic, okay? See how it says, keep diagnosing to narrow down your levels. That means your child needs to keep working on the diagnostic. They should not go to recommended skills yet because it may be having them practice things that they already know how to do. We don't want that. We want them to use their um, time to learn things. So come here. You're going to come here to where it says step into the arena. Click there. Then your child's going to need to choose a question. So, uh, I'm going to choose this one for right now. Now, for this example, it says pick all the circles. If your child wants it read to them, they can click here. Pick all the circles. Okay, and then they'll go and follow the instructions. Click the green button. Then it will give them something else. So for this, it says copy the pattern. Now, if they don't know how to do it, they can come over here where it says, I don't know this yet, and click there. It will automatically add it. See, now they have a level in algebra and algebraic thinking. So now they need to pick this. And it tells them, look, you've started narrowing down your level. At any time, if you want to see where your kid is at for right now, uh, you're going to come up here to where it says, see your levels. And this will take you back to the main screen where all the levels are. Eventually, you want all the levels to have this little star here by them at some point so that you can see what it is and then you'll have the recommended skills. Now obviously our little sample student here has more than one recommendation that they will need in algebra but this skill here is what they need to start with. So you will click here no you don't click there <laughs> sorry you'll come all the way to the bottom and click this button here It will make you a report. And then you can go directly to any of these recommended subjects. So you can click here. It will take you right to the color patterns. Okay. Now, if your kid really doesn't know this, they can learn, start, learn with an example. It will read it to them. Copy the pattern. And then it has a little example here back to practice. Um, for a lot of the problems, this isn't an one, but for a lot of them there will be additional problems down here that can help them if they aren't sure what to do even after looking at the example. So that's kind of, um, kind of a review of what's going on. Okay, you can also come here to skill plans Pick one of these. I'll be a first grader here. <laughs> and these are all the Georgia standards, so they can do that. Um, but please do the diagnostic first, okay? Please get it down until it says your levels have been revealed. And it has the little stars here by every single thing in math and in language arts. So it will take a little while, especially for your more advanced students. It takes a long time. Um, but it's really worth it because they don't end up repracticing things that they have already done. Let me know if you have questions or anything like that, and we'll see you later.